Okay guys, so unfortunately the video recording today in class didn't record any sound. So I'm just going to quickly run through what we covered in class today. So ordinary differential equations or ODEs for short. Consider the problem dy dx equals 2x. We have seen this problem before and we know the solution. Uh, the solution to this is just y equals x squared plus c. And this we've done in semester one and there shouldn't be any problem here with this. Uh, this is a simple example of what an ODE is. Basically an ordinary differential equation is an equation of the derivative and of x and y. In my example I just gave you there was no y in it, there was just the x variable in it. So a more fuller example would be something like dy dx equals x squared times y cubed something like this. So formally an ordinary differential equation is an equation of the form dy dx equals a function of x and y. Now technically this is an ordinary differential equation of order 1 um, but this is the only order of equation we'll look at so we won't worry about stating the order it will always be order 1 for us. So how do we solve this? Well we use a technique called separation of variables. So we have dy dx equals a function of f, uh, x and y. And what you do is you consider the function of x and y as a product of two functions, a function of only x and a function of only y. So in other words you try to identify the only x part and the only y part. Once you've done that, you can bring the dx term up to the right, very similar to the substitution techniques we've seen before in integration, and you bring the gy or the y only part down to the left, and what you've just done is separate it so that only y variables are on the left and only x variables are on the right, and then by integrating both sides you've basically have produced an equation that you can solve for y and find what the answer is. So these are the key steps in separation of variables. So let's have a look at an example. So for example I want you to find the general solution to dy over dx equals xy plus y and just some vocabulary here general solution meaning that you don't care about the value of c in the constant um, you get when you integrate. So you can just leave the constant c in your answer. So you have dy dx equals y times x plus 1. So I take the y out. Basically I factorize here. And what I've done now is I've spotted what the x part is and what the y part is. The y only part is y and the x only part is x plus 1. And I bring the dx up to the right. And now I bring the y down to the left and I integrate both sides. So on the left 1 over y the antiderivative here is log y and on the right it will be x squared over 2 plus x plus the constant. Now this is almost the answer but you must remember we're looking for y not log y. So the way we cancel a log is by taking the exponential of both sides because e and log cancel on the left and I'm left with the answer y equals e power x squared over 2 plus x plus c. So this is the solution here. We'll have a look at another example where I do want you to tell me what the c is and to find the c you need to know a point on the solution or a point on the curve and this is exactly the same as the very basic idea we did at the start of the year with um, equation of the line y equals mx plus c. The way you find the c in this equation is by using a point. So we have find the solution to dy over dx equals x squared plus 4 all times y where the solution contains the point 0 1. So our equation is dy over dx is equal to x squared plus 4 times y. So we bring the y down to the left and we bring the dx up to the right, just like before. Uh, this example 
it's a little bit easier because I've already separated at the start for you. Uh, on the left, antiderivative of 1 over y, again, uh, log y. And on the right, we get x cubed over 3 plus 4x plus c. And just like before, we don't want log y. We want to know what the y is. So putting an exponential on both sides, I can cancel the log on the left now. And I have y equals e to the power of x cubed over 3 plus 4x plus c. Now, to find the c, this is actually the general solution. So we're 99% of the way towards the answer. We just need to find the c. And we use the point to find the c. So x is 0 and y is 1. Now, what I did um, just on the next line, it's not necessary, but it makes your life a little bit easier. If you separate this uh, before you substitute it as EC out in the front, and what I'm using here is the first rule of powers, and I'm just using the rule that says x power A times x power B is equal to x power a plus b or vice versa x power a plus b equals x a times x b so here because i have addition in the powers i can actually separate this out as a multiplication if i want and i'm taking just the ec part out because the c is what i'm interested in and i'll try to free that as much as possible so now y equals one and x equals zero and you see i have e power actually just c because beside that I have e power 0 and e power 0 is 1. So I'm left with the rather uh, simple result 1 equals e power c. Now I want to know what the c is so I can take log of both sides. I get log that should say log 1 actually equals log ec so I have log 1 which is 0 equals log ec the log and the e cancel so i get c equals zero and i can put this back in now c is zero so i have y equals e power x cubed over three plus four x so let me just fix that mistake there okay so that should have said log one okay Okay, let's go back down now. Okay, so we have 1 equals EC and like I said, log of both sides. So log 1 equals log EC and log 1 is 0 and the log and the E cancel. So I'm just left with C. So I get C is 0 and I put that back in and I have Y equals E power X cubed over 3 plus 4X. Now if I just skip back a couple of lines, there's another way you could have looked at this. I have here 1 equals EC. So what I could have done is just replaced all of the EC that I took out in the front with the number 1. And when you multiply by 1, you're not changing anything. So in fact, you can see from this line that if I just scratch out this EC term in front, I also have the answer. And it's the same answer. Y equals E power X cubed over 3 plus 4X. So in other words, um, you can either find the C or actually you can find the EC. Uh, either way, you'll get the same answer. Some people prefer to find the C always, but this isn't often necessary. It usually makes more work for you. Uh, like in this case, it would have been just enough to find the EC. So you didn't have to bother with the logs actually on the next few lines. But for those who wanted to find the C specifically, C worked out to be zero.